Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Aquarius, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Aquarius, this will be your edition of Sexy Heads to Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Aquarius, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Aquarius, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, Feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Aquarius, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a prenatal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted via cash app at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Aquarius, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading for August the 16th through the 31st, 2021. Let me get you to school. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Aquarius August 16th through the 31st? What energies are surrounding Aquarius August 16th through the 31st, Spirit? Spirit, what energies that surround the Aquarius August 16th through the 31st? Thank you. Spirit, what energies that surround the Aquarius August 16th through the 31st? What energies that surround the Aquarius August? Thank you. Too many. What energies that surround the Aquarius August 16th? Th Oh, Aquarius, you're doing soul searching. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for your reading is the magic. The magic. So, Aquarius, your intuition is telling you something. And whatever your intuition is telling you, you're going to present it. No matter how ugly the truth, no matter how beautiful the truth, you know what you're talking about. And Aquarius, some of you uh, are doing some occult work. Mm -hmm. You are the doer here with the magic. See that? You are the doer. So, you know what's going on. You see clearly. And again, some of you are delving into the occult. But I know you're making something happen. And whatever you see intuitively, you're presenting it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the revolutionary paradox and death. Some of you are going to be Scorpio, but Aquarius, something is ended. And you're making, you're undergoing a transformation. There was something confusing here, okay? But you knew the truth. And you're going to change this. I don't know how you're changing it. I don't know if you're doing some rituals or something. The rituals are here for some of you. You know who the hell you are. But for some of you Aquarians, there's a transformation happening here. And you are making changes based off this convoluted set of information you're getting. Because whatever this shit is, it's complicated. But not for you. Aquarius, you have an intricate mind. Aquarius, you have connect the heart. Connect the heart. And why is this coming across to me like a question mark? Like, is this worth my time? Do I really want this? What am I benefiting? What are the 
the loss so I will experience. I feel like you're trying to balance something out and figure out if it's really meant for you with this connect to heart card. But you're making something happen, Aquarius. Spirit, tell me about this connect to heart card for Aquarius. Why is connect to heart here? It's like you overcoming some obstacles. Yeah. Ooh. Let's just say whatever you manifesting, you're going to get what you want. At the bottom of the deck, you have determination, frustration, and pain. And this was the trigger. This was the catalyst that started the whole way to reaction. This pain you went through, these tears you cried. You wanted something so badly, but it, it 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 frustrated you. Something's not making sense here, and it's causing you pain. But you won't figure it the hell out, ain't you? Aquarius. You have confidence. You have confidence. You know you're protected. You know you have a loyal team around you or your spirit guides or you just loyal to yourself. You confident that you're protected. You confident in what you want. You confident in what your spirit wants. So you connecting to your confidence. If you were lacking confidence in the past, that's a thing of the past. But you confident that you know what you want. That's what I'm hearing more than anything. Spirit. Aquarius is strong in their desires. Why am I shuffling backwards? Aquarius is confident that they know exactly what they want, Spirit. Tell me about this confidence when Aquarius is connected to their heart. Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have mystery, fresh start, and union. So right now, you're trying to figure out if this union, this job, this contract, this soulmate connection, romantic connection, if it's going to happen. Is it going to be a new beginning? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know if there's a fresh start here for whatever this union or contract is. But you confident you know what you want. Something was awakened in your spirit. It was so emotional. The card reads realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. So it could be that someone realizes they love you or you realize you love someone. And someone is confident that this is what they really want. Spirit, there's been an awakening here. Someone, Aquarius is seeing progress. They're confident that they know exactly what they want. They've been awakened to this. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. Some of you are done with the Pisces, the lilies, and the bridge. And Aquarius, you were like, I manifested something. It took a long time for whatever this is to come in. Somebody has all these emotions. All these emotions. And they are being awakened to these emotions and don't know where it's going to take them. It took a long time for this realization to happen. It seemed like this realization happened after someone walked away. And you've been awakened to the stress. It's difficult to work on this. And you realize this. You want some changes made. You want progress. Because something's stressing you out. 
It's getting old at this point, Aquarius. That's what you're saying. It's getting old at this point. And I know what I want. But something is guarded. Some, there's some barriers in play. It could be financial lack. Somebody acting real rotten or spoiled. Somebody hanging on to something old. But you awaken that it need to be some changes made here. And you setting your boundaries. You setting your boundaries. That's what I see. It's like, this don't serve me. Spirit. Aquarius knows exactly what they want. And it looks like Aquarius is making some changes for progress. It looks like Aquarius setting boundaries of, and putting in restrictions to things that stress them. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot of soul work. At the bottom of the deck, you have shadow, total soul work. Financial and material changes and discontent and boredom. And Aquarius, you feel rejected or you rejected someone. You feel a loss here, but you don't know why it was lost. You don't know why. And this is what you're trying to figure out. Should I reject it or you feel rejected? But you don't know why this is, you don't know why you were rejected. You don't know why this was a loss. And you fear not being able to get exactly what it is you want. Some of you done with a Pisces. But you facing all this within right now. Connecting with yourself. You have the sacral chakra. This is you, Aquarius, becoming rude to eat more orange fruits and vegetables. Squash, oranges, things of that nature. Yellow and orange bell peppers. Carrots. Get your beta carotene up. But this is you making a decision to become more grounded because you know exactly what it is you want and you're tired of being stressed and you realize it's time to do something about it. You're facing your shadow self right now. You're making changes. Spirit. Aquarius is awakened to what stresses them out. They're also awakened to what it is they truly want. They know what they want. And they're making a decision to become grounded. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have between worlds, all that glitters and here and now. And now you come to the realization that something you wanted wasn't what it was all that it was cracked up to be. You're now in the middle of this. And it's like you're trying to make a decision. Do you stay stuck in the past and all this confusion? Or do you move forward into this clarity and recognize your beauty? You can see clearly now. And you got to focus on these changes right now. You're trying to reverse the situation. You're trying to reverse the situation. It's like you're taking a break. You took a break from how they're giving it to me is is that you 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 slipped up. You slipped up. What they telling me is is that at one point you were confident you knew exactly what you wanted and something upset you or you searched your Stability. 
and stressed you out. But you're changing it. It's like you're getting back to the basics or something. Spirit, tell me about this time for a nap in the sacral chakra. You might be cutting somebody out because they stress you out, so you might be letting something go. Tell me about this time for a nap in the sacral chakra for Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, you have the wheel. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign, such as yourself. as another Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. You have the sun. They go that Leo energy in the moon. What was hidden in the cover of night? These secrets, these fears. There is a change. It is all going to be revealed in divine timing. There is a transformation occurring. You want the truth to come to light, and this is what you manifested. You was like, spirit, show me exactly what's going on. Like, you spoke this shit. You, you said this, show me what's going on. Tell me the truth. Let me know what's happening. Whatever this situation was, you specifically asked to show me. You manifested this. Show me, and you were passionate about it. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, this is you being very passionate, determined, taking the lead to manifest and wait for it to come to fruition with this Three of Wands. Because something had you perplexed, it was challenging, and you said, show me. Show me, and you just waiting because you know you're going to get the answers. You chilling. Show me. That's what I'm hearing. Show me. But your ships are here. Something is here right now for you. And let's see what it is. Let's look into this three of wands spirit. Aquarius ships are here. It's something being shown to them right now. They expected this. They waited for this. Tell me about this three of wands for Aquarius, August 16th through the 31st. Tell me about this three of wands for Aquarius spirit. I saw them flip. A whole bunch of them flip, damn it. Not that many. What you are expecting with this sun card energy, some of you are dealing with a Leo. This is what's being illuminated. This justice. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Tell me the truth. Show me. All these major archons. All these are major archons. You did something. Show me with this death card. Spirit, show me the truth. Make it right. Make it fair. Transform this or end it, spirit. But show me if this connection is going to be worked out with this temperance energy. If it's going to be healed. If it's going to be a negotiation, a compromise. You want something back? And you like spirit, show me, make it right. It will make me happy to have this transformation and this reconciliation. Some of you are dealing with a Leo with the sun card energy, show me. Some of you are dealing with a justice card, show me. Make it right, spirit. With this death card, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Transform this, make this right. And some of you dealing with a Sagittarius with this temperance card. So you expecting that in time, in time, in due time, things are going to transform. You expecting this to come in. All major arcana. You 
manifest this? You sure did. They go that wine. They go the power. You have power. And this power is bringing in all this abundance. You are the magi. You are the magician. Not the alchemist. You the orchestrator. Here it is. Because you were lacking. You felt left out in the cold, abandoned, orphaned. And that's changing, it's being healed. There's now growth. There's now abundance. There's miracles happening. Just pouring out these options just opened up. You thought about it. You used all that energy with your clear chakra, put this momentum in place. Because you didn't want to be a bandit. You didn't want to be orphaned. You gained a new perspective. You, you were tired of being you were tired of being sacrificed. You were tired of being sacrificed. That's what I heard. Spirit. Aquarius gained a new perspective. They thought about these changes. They going from lack to healing to health. To grow to abundance. Aquarius has been awakened to their power. Tell me about this crown chakra and this orphan energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have this five of coins. It's that lack, that winter, that orphan. Seven of cups, ten of swords. You feel like somebody betrayed you, backstabbed you, left you for dead. Leaving you with no options. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with Taurus. You feel like somebody left you for dead and left you with no options. Not literally. But you feel like somebody betrayed you, backstabbed you, disending, left you with no options. And you ain't like that. Too much power over you. And you should and with this palace of cups, it's all these emotions, all this love. This is a family dynamic. This is going home back to the roots of the soul, of the heart. But you guard it against it. You don't trust it. Some of you don't trust your family. You don't trust this house you in, some shit like that. But you stand in your ground. You're a little tired right now. You could be suspicious of somebody's emotions, or you could be guarding your emotions and your feelings from somebody in the family. With the Six of Cups, it can have to do with some children. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio. You might be protecting these children. Or hiding your emotions from them. I want to see what you're doing with this nine of wands. I don't know if you're protecting or if you guard it or if you're suspicious or you stand in your ground. Tell me about this nine of wands for Aquarius spirit. Tell me about this nine of wands for Aquarius spirit. It's like you don't trust these emotions or something. They will use kids again. <laughs> Give me another card, please. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a family, a legacy dynamic. The Page of Swords and the Hermit. You want to be left to hell alone. With this Hermit card, some of you know the Virgo. It's like you might be looking for another um, house, another family, or you feel like your family's spying on you and you want to be left the hell alone. Mm. 
with the six of pentacles energy, you feel like something is in the equal give and take. Or maybe you can't give to these kids. Because this is this nine of wands energy. You might feel hurt. It's like you're trying to weigh your options. I'm looking at this magician. You might feel like you don't have no options or options were removed from you because the back is turned to it. Like usually you seven to cut somebody facing and point. This magician is turned away, the mind you, is turned away from the options and pointing elsewhere. And with this Ace of Wands, it's almost like there's something new here that needs to transform. It's like you want something to transform here. And you just waiting for it to happen with this Four of Swords, that Ace of Wands. Like you know your power. And you healing from this. Usually the Four of Swords, somebody laying down, but no. This one, this person is up, they walking. They got on yellow. It's like somebody know the truth or they see the light. And the sword is in their hand with this decision to for this passionate new beginning. It's like, all right, I know my option. I'm going to manifest it now. For fairness or balance. So you're tired. And you stand in your ground and you know what you want. And you feel left out. And you don't want to feel left out no more. So you about to do something about it. Aquarius, you have underworld. You have underworld. And this is spirit saying you need to face this. The shadow side. It's like some lower vibrational thinking. And spirit like, uh-uh, you need to grow. Grow. Elevate. Something could have had you depressed, feeling down, but that's changing. Because in the material world now, you got all this opportunity coming into you. For some of you, you just found work that's allowing you to grow and come from up under. But there's an opportunity here, a material, this is something in the 3D. There's an a actual opportunity in the 3D coming into you that's going to balance you out. It's going to make everything right. And it's going to bring you into alignment. It will give you stability, but you got to work for it. This could actually be work. This is healing. This is this is really bringing you from down under. It's going to fix some things. Bringing you from this lack. Spirit. There's something here that's going to heal Aquarius. It's an opportunity here. This could be financial because this is material, but this is something in the 3D that's going to allow Aquarius to come up. It's some work here that's going to balance Aquarius out. Can you tell me about this chop wood and balance? Yeah. You got your mojo back. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords, you have the Strength, and you have the Emperor. You got control now. Some of y'all done with an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody's determined to come towards you to gain control over a situation. Or somebody's resisting moving towards you to gain control over a situation. There's two options here that this person is holding on to and they're trying to gain control. It looks like someone's resisting moving forward. Someone is resisting moving forward. And when they did that, when they resisted moving forward, 
This one you knew with this Queen of Wands energy. You adopting the energy of this Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is you being confident, determined, and you know. You know. Because I'm looking at that high priestess symbol on here. Usually it's the other way. If it was the other way, this would be the high priestess. But I think this is you letting the information sink in. And with this Ace of Swords, you know the truth. You sure you know the truth. You got clarity. And you making a decision to heal from this with this star card energy. That's definitely you. You know you won't get through this. But something came in for you. Something came in for you. I want to see what this Ace of Swords is. What is this clarity, this truth, this decision? Tell me about this Ace of Swords. I see it. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. This is you. The Four of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Aquarius, I think this is you facing the reality. You facing the reality that something is gone. Or you need to let something go. In order for you to be stable. Ask what this clarity was. The clarity is this magician. Some of you are done with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Scorpio, or you Aquarius. The truth is, is that this magician this world card, some of you dealing with a fixed sign such as another Aquarius, a Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Somebody, you man, manipulated something. You want closure. The truth is, you know there was manipulation and that this needs to be closed out because there's a rejection here with this four cups. Kids could be rejecting you. You could be rejecting kids or somebody don't want kids. And that's the truth. Because that's a different type of four cups. And the reason why I'm seeing that is because, look, she has a star in her hair. And when I see star, I think Aquarius. And that looked like a little boy. I'm trying to make it so, because it's holographic, that you can see what's going on. There needs to be a hill in here. There needs to be some work put in. But the opportunity is here to fix this, to heal this. To make happen what you want to make happen. To close this cycle out. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? For some of you, this is a love reading. For some of you, this is a reading regarding your children. For some of you, this is a reading regarding travel. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? But all you need to know is you got everything you need to make happen. What you exactly want to make happen. Aquarius, you have night. Be brave and honest. Be brave and honest. 
It's like you need to face the truth about something need to be let go of or what you what you need to release. Is this a thought process? Is this a person? But go within and be brave and honest and face this truth about what it is you need to release. Some of y'all need to remove the mask from your eyes and see the truth and be assertive. Okay. You really need to face this with complete honesty, but within yourself. Okay. Aquarius. You have spring, spring, see your seeds grow, see your seeds grow. There's something you planted, you nurtured, and it is growing. And you need to relax, take time to breathe out and let this process happen. And spirit is saying you're ready. You're ready. Okay, you're ready to accept these gifts, these bounties that are here for you. Aquarius, spirit is saying protection guardian protection guardian drop your shields drop your shields because it's like you're protecting yourself from the wrong people there's somebody here that really loves you and it's like you keep snapping on them and spirit is like no drop your shields drop your shields because you your point got across your hard work is paying off some of you are dealing with a capricorn and spirit wants you to know you can drop your shields because the situation will improve the situation will improve you will get the sign you will get to sign that all is working out well. Whatever it is you manifest, whatever it is you want regarding your comfortability, your stability, your peace of mind, it's here, Aquarius, and you're going to see it. It's going to show you. It's going to show you. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. This has been your edition of Sexy Hair as a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aquarius. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, peace, Aquarius. Look for the sign. Look for the sign. Because you asked. You said, show me. You said, show me. And it's coming in. And what the signs is going to show you is that you need to choose a new direction. Okay? Because you know why? Because there's something better waiting for you. And there's something better is bringing big, happy changes. It's bringing big, happy changes. Now, you ask the spirit to show you, they about to show you. Peace, Aquarius. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot.